now we'll use that information about slope to help us graph. The slope intercept form allows us to find the slope and the y intercept more quickly so that we can graph more easily. The slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. Put a box around that, we're going to need that. Remember m stands for our slope and b stands for our y intercept. So if we look at this, y equals 7x minus 2, let's write above it the form y equals mx plus b. So the number in front of x is our m or our slope. So our slope here is 7. And this number on the end by itself is the y-intercept. So the y-intercept here is negative 2. This time we have an equation, but it's not in the right form. It doesn't look like y equals mx plus b. y has to be by itself. So we're going to work on this. We did this back in module 7. We'll subtract 2x from both sides. And I told you then that we like to have the x part first, so we're going to put negative 2x, and then this is a positive 15, so it'll be plus 15. And then we're going to divide by 5, but when we divide by 5, we have to divide each piece by 5. So we get negative 2 fifths x plus 3. And that allows us to read our slope, m, the number in front of x, and our y-intercept, b, the number at the end. Now this is a little bit tricky because this doesn't even have a y in it. Let's think about what this was. Remember we graphed this before. This is a vertical line that crossed the x-axis at negative 6. x always had to be negative 6. So what's the slope of a line that goes straight up and down? It's too steep, so the slope is undefined. There's no y in it, so it's just straight up and down, undefined. And the y-intercept, well, this graph never crosses the y-axis, so there isn't a y-intercept. So let's look at this one now. Here we can read our slope straight off of the graph equation. Slope is 2. We're going to write that as 2 over 1, so we can do the rise and the run. The y-intercept is negative 4. Okay, so when we graph, we start with the y-intercept, start there, and put that on the y-axis. And then from there, we do our slope. We're going to rise 2, run 1. And we could keep going, rise 2, run 1. Rise 2, run 1. And that gives us a nice straight line. That's the graph of that equation. We'll do the same idea here with this one. We have y equals negative 1 fifth x plus 4. So my slope is negative 1 fifth. Now we need to choose where that negative goes. It can go on the top or on the bottom, but not both places. I like to put it on the top so that I have a negative rise. And then my y-intercept is 4. So I'm going to start with 4 on the y-axis, and then from there, my rise is negative, so I go down 1, right 5. Now I could make that negative be on the bottom. I could have this, and that would be up 1, positive rise, left 5 for a negative run. 
gives us a nice straight line through those points. Same idea here, but we have to put this equation in the right form again. So we'll start by subtracting 2x from both sides. And that gives us 7y is equal to negative 2x minus 21. And then I divide each part by 7. So I get y is equal to negative 2 sevenths x minus 3. So my slope is negative 2 over 7. Or I could write 2 over negative 7. Either is okay, but you have to choose one place. My y-intercept is the negative 3 at the end. So I start with my y-intercept, and then from there, if I do the first slope, I would go down to right 7. It's kind of right off that graph. If I go my other slope, I would go up to left 7 again, right off the graph here. That gives me my line. This time it wants us to write an equation. Remember we have y equals mx plus b. It tells me my slope, so that's going to go in place of m. It tells me why my y-intercept is 0, 6. That means that b is 6, the y value. So I just write y equals negative 4 ninths x plus 6. That's my equation. So again, we're using y equals mx plus b. Here's my slope, so m is negative 2. It says my y-intercept is the y part, so b is 0. So I'd have y equals negative 2x plus 0. We don't normally write the plus 0 on the end. We would just write y equals negative 2x 